Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenny and I was going to show you a few things that I've done to my shelves so far. Uh, if you've watched a few of my other videos, my um, Dollar Tree hauls, I'm using some of the items that I bought there. This tub that I have my shelves in, this strainer that I use to strain my shelves, um, these toothbrushes that I will use if needed to scrub some of the shelves, and these shells I'm getting ready to clean. I bought these tongs from the dollar store, these rubber gloves from the dollar store, and these two plastic tubs that I bought from the dollar store. And this one is full of acid, which is right here, which is a gallon, I do believe, and I bought it at um, Lowe's. It was like seven something with tax, it was over $8. This tub is just with plain water. And what I do, I will dip these shells into the acid and then from the acid into the water and then I will lay it to dry on this towel. I have lots and lots of shells to do. I still have these two big bags to do um, that I got from, or actually my kids as well, got from Siesta Key. Um, we were on um, the Siesta Key Beach um, also, we stayed on the um, Turtle Beach. So a lot of these, 99% of these we found on the Turtle Beach. Um, this really cool coral that we have found. Everything that you see, we found on the beach. We did not go into the water to get these shells. Um, these are the ones I've already done with the acid. You can also use a baby oil to brighten them up if you would like. Um, but there's just a lot of different ones that um, we have found. I'm just really excited about these corals that we had found. This one is just really cool. So I was just going to show you a couple of the shells that I'm going to do with the acid so you have an idea on what to do with your shells that you collect while walking the beach. Okay, so I have my rubber glove on for protection. I am going to take, um, let's see, we'll just take this big shell and we are going to place it into the water and the acid. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, you can probably see the bubbles. That is going to get the grime, any that I've missed from rinsing the shells off with. You don't want to leave it in too long because it can um, fragile, make the um, shell really fragile. But you can kind of tell how shiny it's already becoming from the doll. Like I'll grab one of these that haven't been cleaned so you can see how dull and dingy that is before being cleaned with this acid. So you take your tongs, you take it into the water, swish it around a little bit, and lay it out to dry. And that's all you do. Simple, easy. Um, do not let any kids play with this at all or help actually because of the acid. It can harm your skin so you do not want to splash it onto your skin or your eyes. There's a little teeny little shell that got in there. I gotta get that out. I don't know if I'll be able to. There we go. Rinse that little guy off. Lay that one out there. But you can really see the bubbles. I don't know if you can hear it or not. So yeah, we have a couple of um, crafts planned to do with these shells. So when we get all these shells cleaned and dried, ready to go. I will post some videos of our crafts that we're going to do with these shells. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Keep smiling.